Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can create a new custom Power BI summary table by filtering another table. So the whole idea is that we, we choose specific dimensions and uh, specific measures by filtering a specific uh, another specific dimension. So this is a very common requirement where we need to create a one very small table uh, for some specific need uh, where uh, as per the part of our analysis. So before I show that just a quick information that this sheet where I am keeping all of my Power BI related tutorial videos with their title and video link is something you can find the link in the description. That way you can easily come over here and search any of the videos that you like or filter it as per your needs and look at that specific video. So whole idea is you can easily go through all of my Power BI related videos easily uh, on uh, that is that I have posted on my channel. Also, I have some exercises from the Workout Wednesday website as well, which I have posted with the title, video link, as well as exact exercise link, so that you can come over, go over there as well. Okay, with that information, let me go to the Power BI. All right, so here we are using a very simple and straightforward uh, superstore data set, which is about uh, you know customer information, order information, where the products are getting sold and all. And uh, let's say we want to create one table based on the uh, category that is uh, furniture. So in this, you know, you have three categories. Let's say we want to create a table by filtering the furniture sale, right? and uh, we want to group the rows based on the segment and the region and uh, what do we want to group or what we want to take the total is sales and uh, profit let's say so this is a simple uh, scenario you can make it as complex as you want by taking more and more uh, values uh, but the whole idea is that i create first of all um, over here in home i create new table right and uh, I call it, uh, let's say, furniture sales and profit. And we use the um, function, which is summarize. It helps us summarize the uh, table content by creating a new table. And then we need to filter, filter what? Uh, we need to filter the superstore table. And uh, we want to uh, use the dimension that is category right equals to furniture i hope i have written it correctly furniture yes uh, so this is the filter uh, we close this right and then we come out and now we need to choose the dimensions by which we need to group by so we need to group by the segment right and we need to group by the region right and then we need to use the aggregation functions so the aggregation functions is what we need to choose the total sales right and uh, that will be sum of sales superstore sales right and then what do we need is let's say the total profit and we give it the name as uh, total sum of total profit sum of profit actually over here and it goes this and we close this so what is going on again just to summarize this summarize is helping us creating a new table by taking the by filtering the superstore data set which is uh, by furniture the category is furniture taking two dimension segment and region and taking two measure sales and profit so if i click ok this should give me a very new custom table as you can see very quickly which is having segment region the total sales and total profit that i can use with my other tables that are present in this and easily uh, you know build the model or create the analysis as per my needs so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can create this furniture sales table easily and uh, get the results with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic